Due to infrastructure damage because of sub-zero temperatures, Howard University's Community Day doubleheader basketball game against Bethune-Cookman was relocated. The Lady Bison were first to take the court and fought extremely hard for a 10-point lead in the third quarter, which they just could not hold on to. I mean, they took a little momentum to fouling. Um, you know, I think we weren't smart with the basketball and execution, and then they kind of took advantage of that and we fouled. They got to the foul line and um, gave them a little bit more uh, momentum than we did. The weather and change in venues definitely affected the size of the crowd, but I was still able to talk to a few fans from around the community who enjoyed the game. I liked it um, when they tried to dunk, dunk the back The men's game was very similar to the women's, whereas they were leading by eight points with only two minutes left to play. They're a veteran team, an uh, older team, and they made some shots, and we got some, we got some open shots, and we just we got a couple shots near the basket, we got a couple of wide open shots, we we didn't make them. I mean, you know, sometimes basketball something comes down to making shots and stopping them, and they made some. And we didn't, we didn't make the ones we were supposed to. We really, in that stretch, only really need to make one or two shots, keep them at bay, and we just didn't make the shots we needed to. Despite outstanding performances by R.J. Cole with 32 points and C.J. Williams with 30, the Bison lost it at the very end. Both Bison teams fell to the Wildcats after fighting hard into overtime. It's still early in the conference play, so please be sure you come out and support. With Spotlight Network, this is Marissa Watts.